we are live. Okay, so welcome to it. It is June 23rd. We are going to start in two minutes. All you're going to need today is an optional mat. We have four groupings of four exercises. The second grouping is going to involve core work, so you want the mat for comfort or on the ground, otherwise everything else is kickboxing-esque movements. So punches and kicks and jabs and hooks and crosses and all that sort of stuff. So that's on the agenda today. It's 45 on, 15 off. I was trying to figure out another more fun number to do, but everything I came up with was either too long or too short, so we're just back and smack dab at 45 on, 15 off. Um, but, there's no weights needed for today's workout, just some space, um, hopefully some good supporting floor or supporting shoes or both. And um, we're going to get started in one minute now. So get your stuff, come on back, and we'll get started. My name is Jen, by the way, if we haven't met. Quick disclaimer, my workout is my workout, your workout is your workout. I'm here to guide you through a workout. So if I'm doing something at a pace that you don't like, adjust. If you're technically, if I'm doing an exercise you don't like, guess what? You can adjust. You can increase the weight. You can decrease the weight. You can increase the range of motion. You can decrease the range of motion. If I'm doing something like a jumping jack and that's uncomfortable for you and you want to march in place or do butt kickers or, or something else completely different, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you're doing it correctly, that you are doing it comfortably. And if you're not sure, I would say just march in place, get your heart rate up, keep your heart rate up, and then after class, shoot me a message and say, hey, Jen, I had a question. I wasn't sure about X, and we can set aside some time to meet via email or on the phone or on the computer or whatever it happens to be to make sure that you're doing something correctly moving forward. Okay, so it is 11.15, so we are going to start. We are still golden on the live stream, so let's just start by marching in place. Last week, if you watched this class, I was huffing and puffing and coughing and sneezing and all that sort of stuff. I'm still not technically better. I am getting there very slowly. I probably will be able to do a little bit more cardio than I was able to do last week, which is pretty much nothing, but <clears throat> I do have some cough still, so I may have to adjust some things, get you started, and then take care of myself um but that's always for you too you can come and you can join a class and you can decide yes this is for me no it's not for me i can make adjustments based on what your body is telling you that particular day so let's open and close there is very little actual heavy cardio today a lot of it is more just kind of punching and kicking and that sort of thing Now let's come out to the side, kick, come back in. This will tell you, do you have enough space for everything that you're going to be doing today as far as the kicks go? If you can kick out sideways, you can kick out front, and you can kick out back, you're probably okay. <clears throat> but always make sure that you're not traveling when you're doing your punches and kicks. So you may be okay, and then all of a sudden you're not. So let's come in front and let's just do an uppercut. So we're coming up underneath and we're rotating on the back leg. Couple more. Now let's punch all the way up so you can slow it down. And we're coming all the way up to our head, but we're not going to hit ourselves. We have a nice wide, I have a big wide here, so I'm not going to punch myself. Maybe we do a little bit of a squat. That feels good. If you're ready for that, maybe you're not. Now let's make it a little bit more difficult. So we're going to come up and then rotate, up and then rotate. Two more this side, 
and let's switch it out. So we're going up and rotate. Two more. All right, let's kick. Ooh, catch your balance. One thing with a cold sinus cough thing, sometimes you lose your balance. Even more than I normally do. If you ever get dizzy when you're doing exercises, especially if you're changing from going up to down, you can obviously modify to come up slower or not go down as far. Or if even if it takes you a little bit of extra time to get up or get down, that's fine. All right, let's bring those arms up and let's bring them down. So you can either kick or you can have a straight leg, your choice. And we're bringing those hands down to about our belly button and our legs up to about our belly button. So this is gonna tell you if you have enough space moving forward. Let's do three. Let's do two, let's do one, and let's just pulse those arms back. So I'm gonna lift one leg and just push it out, come back in and back down. And then I'm gonna switch out, in, and down. We're gonna do a couple more each side. See how your balance is doing today. See how your hand-eye coordination is doing today. Can you do the arms and the legs at the same time? And do you have enough space behind you? Let's do oh, one more each side. Usually one side is better than the other for balance. Finding a spot on the floor. Try not to look at the, at the monitor. Okay, so we pause this video. Keep warming up if you still need some warming up time. Otherwise, we're going to jump into our first circuit. So we're going to do this circuit twice through. We have a squat just up and down. You can do that squat as shallow or as deep as you want. Then we have a high knee or a high knee run. So you can bring those knees up nice and high or you can do them super fast. And then we have lateral hops. Hopping side to side or in a squat, tapping side to side. And then we have a jab across a knee, a knee. A jab across a knee, a knee. Those are our first four exercises. We're going to go through them twice and then move on. So, starting up first is our regular squat, nothing crazy. You would have your toes. Our toes are facing forward. You can have your toes pointing out to the side. Get your choice. All right, we are starting in three, in two, and one. So we're sitting back. Our chest is up. We're sitting on down this an imaginary chair here. You can actually put a chair there. You can come up to a couch or something, and you can tap. You can come back up. If that is a nice visual for you, a nice tactile way to do it, please do it. <clears throat> we have 13 more seconds. All right. Keep moving during those breaks. We have 15 seconds, and then we're going to do that high knee. I'm going to do the lower intensity version where I'm just physically doing a high knee to the right side and the left side, but feel free to do it a high knee jog, like I said before. All right, let's go. I feel, number one, I'm more comfortable right now doing the lower intensity version, and I feel like I can get my knees higher when I'm doing the low intensity version. I want my knees to go to the same height, so I can always put my arm across and get them the same height.
Beautiful. All right, lateral hops. So we're either squatting down and just walking side to side, or we're jumping side to side. Like imagine a jump rope is right across the floor and you're just hopping side to side over. The bigger the hops, the more intense, more intense the exercise. Ten more seconds. And relax. Now we have the jab, cross, knee, knee. So it's just one arm, one arm, one knee, one knee. <clears throat> All right. This doesn't have to be pretty. If you want to be a full, more of a standard kickbox and have that hand up and guard, cool. That's too much to remember. Don't worry about it. Like you're pulling your knees up and hitting like a, a block or a board or something. This is my piece. You can go faster, you can go slower. Starting up from the top, back to our squats. Go through these one more time. <coughs> Pardon me. Don't worry, you won't catch my mysterious cough illness through the camera. Knees are next. <sighs> Three seconds. All right, bring those knees up nice and high. Get ready, get set, and or remember this is our other option too, if you'd rather. Right side last, 
try to start with the left side now. If you forget, don't worry about it. Remember, you can keep those arms up and guard if you want. Factual kickboxing class, so I'm not going to get technical with the hand placement. But it also makes it a little harder, a little more to concentrate on. Alright, so we have a minute 15. Walk around, grab some water, and if you don't need that time, do some crunches, do some push-ups. We are going to be on the ground next. We have a grouping of four core exercises. We have Russian twists. We have rolling like a ball. We have a right side plank. And we have a left side plank. So on the ground, bring your squishy, squishy mat for comfort, <clears throat> and a Russian twist. Is that first? You can have those knees on the ground. Oh, sorry, your knees are on. Knees are down. Knees are bent. You can have your feet on the ground here, or you can have your feet up in the air here, and we're rotating back and forth. That's exercise one, and that starts in seven seconds. Three, a two, a one, and let's go. I wanted to put this core section pretty early in the workout to make sure that we're doing it with the best of our ability. Sometimes when the core is at the end, you're just you're mentally and physically a little tired. Understood, of course. And so sometimes the core work kind of is not done as well as it could be. <coughs> All right, rolling like a ball is exactly that. We're going to roll into a ball. We're going to come up and have those feet touch, or not touch. So come on up, and hold. Come on up, and hold. All right, let's go. If you can't, maybe you come on up, you tap, and you do twist and twist. You come up, and tap, twist, twist, as an, as an option not having those heels touch. If you need to hold on to those knees, if you can, just know that it's a modification. Maybe you hold on to the knees, come up, and let go. All right, side plank. Side A, you can be on your knees, plank or you can be on your feet and plank. Your feet can be stacked on top of each other or they can be a little wide. <laughs> Whatever works best for you in this hand ooh, is either up in the air or on the ground or just kind of out of the way so it's not actually helping support you. All the work's coming from the arm on the ground. We have 13 more seconds. Three, two, one, and tap down. Other side. Same thing, do whatever you did on side A, on side B. 
Five seconds. You ready? I get set. Twenty-five seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Back to those Russian twists. Second set. A three, a two, a one, and let's go. We are halfway through round number two. Is your back straight, even though it's leaning back like a V? It's still straight, you're not hunched. We have 10 more seconds here, and then we go into those roll ups. All right, transition. Remember, we're rolling up and trying not to let those heels touch the ground if we can help it. Twelve seconds. Four, three, two, one, and flip it over. <clears throat> this is our last official core exercise. Two seconds. <clears throat> And after this, we're going to stand on up. We'll get another minute and 15 second break. You can put your mat away. We won't officially need it. And then we're going to go back to some more traditional standing exercises with some kickboxing bits. 22 seconds. Seconds. How are you doing? Four, three, two, one. All right. Break. Reset. All right, coming up next, we have 
lunges, either stationary or pulsing to the right side. And then, of course, to the left side. And then we have four uppercuts, two hooks. And then we have a high knee, touch the floor, high knee, touch the floor. We'll do all the right side all the way through. And then we come back around, we'll do all the left side. We are starting in 32 seconds. So with those lunges, one leg is in front of the other, of course. We're either going to pulse, is in not coming up all the way, or you can just do a regular static lunge. Your choice. Or you can do something like, I'm going to pulse for 10 and I'm going to come up for 1. I'm going to pulse for 10 and I'm going to come up for 1. Whatever you do on one side, you're going to do on the other. So I would say pick the leg that you know you're going to struggle with more to go first. All right, get ready. Get it set. So for pulsing, we are here. I'm going to pulse as much as I can, and then I'm going to come up for a break. Then I'm going to go back down again. the other side and shake it out. Alright, get ready. Uh, get set. And go. Make sure you can still see those toes. And your feet can be as wide as they need to be. They don't have to be on a tightrope. They can be on a railroad track. Make sure you're moving with the whole body. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two. You go at your own pace. Thirteen more seconds. Let me start from the top. Two and one. All right. Pulse and lunges. Second and final round. All 
All right, ready? And if you don't want to pulse, we can just do a regular up and down. even alternate between the two. Just make sure, as always, that each side equals each other. They get jealous if they're not equal. Ten more seconds on this side. Other side, since I did stationary, I'm going to do stationary on the other side. with my right hand first, which is what I use a lot with that side first. So I'm kind of conscious to try to be with my left first. Even though they're both doing the same thing, just kind of mentally challenge myself. Fifteen more seconds here. Five. All right, so now we're going to do that high knee touch on the left side or the opposite of where we did in the first round. You're all the way up when you bring that knee up. It's two different motions that you're doing here. Keep it up for 17 more seconds. Breaks are coming. And one. All right. Beautiful. We have one more round to go. You have a little break right now. Final grouping of exercises. We have two hooks, two uppercuts, two jabs. And then we have a squat, a squat, a squat, a side kick. Squat, 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 side kick, other side. When I say side kick, you can either literally do that, or you can come up and like you're closing the door of a car with your hands full of groceries. And then we're gonna sit back and do a squat, and we're gonna punch, 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 punch. And then we're gonna do high knees, boom, 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 with that little like board break. Those are our last four. We go through them twice, and then we are done, and we start in 20 seconds with those two hooks, two uppercuts, and two jacks. Feel free to modify the jacks like I'm going to do for low intensity. Otherwise, full jack, go nuts. 
Actually, kickboxing. Just punch if you need to. All right, so we have three squats, kick to one side. Three squats, kick to the other side. <clears throat> you're like ducking from a punch, and then you're like, boom, I'm killing you. So squat, 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 kick, squat, squat, squat. And kick. I'm going to turn a little bit sideways. Ten seconds. And don't hyperextend those elbows. If you feel like, oh, see a look up here or a weird punchy noise, you're probably hyperextending. So if you need to slow it down, take breaks, any of that, totally fine. All right. Knee, knee. Taking those hands, what to bring that board down. Ready? Arms up. Knee. And knee. We are almost done with this workout. We have five minutes of exercise left. Remember, this is my pace. You find your pace.
Squat to be as deep as you want them to be. Squat, 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 kick. It's almost like Dr. Goose, but not, of course. Make sure you're not traveling anywhere that you're going to hit something. You always want to look where you're kicking, especially when you're kicking backwards, even though you're kicking out to the side right now. You never know when a pet cat might come flying down off the couch, or if you're outside, a bird might swoop in, or your dog might be looking for pets. All right. Punch, 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 punch in our little squat. So close to being done, you guys. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Pick your speed. And I am in a little squat. You pick your depth. You can go a lot deeper. If your legs are feeling good, if your legs are feeling a little jello-like, Come up and just have a little bend in the knees. And we're still punching with all of the body. We're not doing this. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Last exercise, knee, knee, make it good, make it count, and then we will stretch. Even if you only do half the amount, it will be perfect. All right, let's go. Full body exercise. 30 seconds left. That's it. That's all we got. feeling? Doing all right? I can't see you, of course, but I'm sure you did something amazing. All right. Take some nice deep breaths. And let's bring in your feet nice and wide. All right, so I'm going to lean one way. I'm going to make sure we're up nice and tall. Pelvis is tucked under. And let's switch sides. Come back to the center. Let's lean forward, flat back. Drop one shoulder. And then switch sides. Come back to the center. Heel toe the feet in. Bring one leg behind for a quad stretch. Let's cross it over to the back. Turn right here. And then cross it over. Lean forward, stretching out the back of the leg. Other side, pull that way back. Cross it over to the back. 
See you on Friday for Fitness Challenge or next week. See you later.